For a faster and reliable coin service, check out onefifa.com in the description down below. Also, for 5% off, use discount code GCAN5. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new episode of Overpriced vs Affordable. If you don't know what this series is, it is a series where we take an expensive player and a cheap player, both similar positions, similar sort of players and in this case similar nationalities as we have the second informed newly released Messi and we have Zarate. You could also use the informed Zarate but today we've gone for the non informed one and as you can see on the screen, uh, Messi costs around 2 million coins whereas Zarate costs a very humble 500 so very very cheap and uh, a massive golf in uh, price difference between these two players but very similar in that they both have four star skills and some other very close stats which we will talk about more when we go into the gameplay. In terms of quality I've given uh, Messi a quality rating of four star and Zarate a quality rating of three star whereas Messi only has a value for money of three and Zarate obviously being uh, 500 coins gets a value of uh, for money of five stars because he is just such a little bargain at 500 coins and is a non-rare little beast. So uh, let's go on to the gameplay here. As you can see, uh, they were both very, very good players. I mean, Messi, for me, is one of those players that he really struggles. Uh, you can't play him in a one-striker formation, end of. Like, that is just a fact. You cannot have him in a one-striker formation. And you need a tall player next to him. Messi will not win any strength battles, any height battles, anything like that. Now, as you'll see there, in that case, I actually had Ebro with him. I've tried him in a few teams in the uh, last evening or so. And uh, that was the one that worked the best with Messi. Uh, I used a team with him and Zarate both up top together, didn't work at all. Now Messi needs to have a tall player and in the case of having Ibra next to him, it was absolutely perfect. He was just getting everything you needed him to get and it was just it was just perfect for him because he'd get uh, the height, the balls knocked down to him from Ibra, that is always fantastic. Ibra could do the skills and it would bubble through to Messi because Messi can just get on the end of passes. That's basically all he can do and occasionally be in the right place at the right time. He will never ever beat a man like with any strength or win any head other than that header there I mean it would cut it would score a header just so I say that but it's very very rare that it happens now the two players do both have four star skills which as I'm sure you guys know I love to have in a striker for me it's a really uh, big thing to have now Messi here once he's actually away from the player it's easy his finishing is fantastic and that is exactly the same for Zarate Zarate did however seem a little bit better in the air he did seem to be able to get onto balls a bit easier and uh, it's a little bit stronger not too much of a difference but enough for you to actually be able to tell but like I said once Messi actually gets away with that skill and that fantastic finishing he is very very clinical in the the same way that Zarate actually is as well. However, I did feel like Zarate just was missing something. He's got 87 pace, but for me, there was quite a few occasions where if I slotted him through or something like that, he wouldn't quite get on the end of it. I mean, here, I did fantastically well to chop back, and like I said, he is extremely clinical. Both the players were putting away almost every single shot they'd get, and their, their ball control was really good, but the main thing for me is the lack of pace that both of them have. I personally actually wouldn't recommend either of them, but in this, in this case, the better of the two was indeed the informed Messi, as you'll see on the screen now. I haven't tried the informed Zarate, so I don't know if he'd be any better. But I can imagine uh, he wouldn't be too, mu uh, too much better. Like, for me, he was a bit disappointing. But that is the end of this episode of Overpriced vs Affordable. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe to this channel if you're new around here. Have a nice day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.